Okay, good evening everybody. Uh, we're back. So let me continue with our lesson number three charts. Uh, I'm going to share to you our lesson three Excel file chart. So we're going to just give you some examples on how to insert charts in our uh, Excel. So let me share. So this is our Excel file, lesson three chart. So just, uh, this is already a familiar chart, uh, table. So it's our grading table, which I asked you to do in lesson number two, I think. And then I also asked you to complete in exercise number two. Okay, so let's read the task here. Just number one, first compare the total quiz course of the students in a chart. And then number two, compare the midterm and final exam scores of the students. And then let's just read the, uh, the rest later on. So number one, fair, uh, first, sorry, uh, compare the total quiz scores of the students in a chart. So there is no particular chart that was asked here. So you can choose any chart that you want. So as we said earlier, uh, there are functions of charts. So how do you uh, what are the charts that you're going to use? So in this question, we're not going to use a line chart because there is no time element. We just want to compare the quantity. So it's going to be either the column chart or the bar chart. So let me just uh, highlight. So the student name, so you would identify which one, uh, which course belongs to, to whom. Okay, so let me include so what you're going to do is to select, to select uh, this by just using your mouse, click and drag here. Okay. Now you press the control key and then the quizzes. So this is our the quiz scores. So again, select them also. So you have to select this student name column as well as uh, the total quiz scores column. Okay, so how do you select them both? So first this, then press control key, and then press uh, select the, the total quiz course call. Okay, so I'm now going to release my control key. Now you are ready to insert the table. So when you insert the table, you have to go to the insert tab. Okay, so I already am in at the insert tab. And then, of course, on the charts, uh, you have here the insert column or bar chart. So that's what I'm going to use. So there are choices, 2D, 3D, 2D, 3D column also, or bar chart. So I'm just going to use column chart. So the simple one, the first one. Okay, so that's it. So you can see here, these are the names of the students. Okay, and their particular score, the highest is the 70. Uh, now, we're going to attack this, uh, this chart. So when you go for the chart, there are chart elements. Okay, so as you can see, axis is ticked, chart line is ticked, and grid lines are ticked is thick also. So it's checked, that means they're all present in the chart. So what is a grid line? A grid line is this gray line uh, invisible here. Okay, and then axis means if I'm going to remove that, you're removing your vertical axis label, well, not label, but this, and your horizontal. So if you're going to see this triangle, there are also primary horizontal and primary vertical axis. So if I'm going to remove only the vertical, so those vertical labels now uh, is gone. So if I'm going to bring it back and so on. Okay, so you can see here the chart title is just total we can edit that by double clicking on this and then please of course because we want a uh, proper labeling 
and then press enter. I'm oh, sorry. Oh no, where is it? Okay, it's gone. Uh -huh. Let me check. Okay, so it's here. So I just press undo. Okay, what else? Uh, the chart title. So if you remove that, the title will be gone. If you check that one, that means it's going to be there. Uh, and the grid lines, if you want to remove it. So there are still other things that you can add, like the data label, so that means these are the scores of each data, or this is the quantity of each data out of the highest 70. Not out of, I mean the highest 70. So this is their corresponding uh, quantity or number. Okay, so there are others here that we're going to explore later on. So let's just proceed. Ah, the other one. Once you click on this chart, you can see here on your uh, same tab, we added or Excel added another tab, which is uh, design and format, which is under chart tools. Because anytime you insert a, uh, insert a, an object, an object, okay? There will be tools, so picture tools, chart tools that we already learned in our uh, key applications in IC3, okay? Now, the other thing that I want you to see is the format is here. You can change the different aspects of this, the text, the shape field, and so on. Uh, in the design, I want you to see this, the move chart, the move chart, and the change chart type so you can change what type of chart you want and also uh, the layout you can choose from here the quick layout anyway well, let's keep it like that we'll have that uh, you can explore on that or sometime in our discussion we can learn this so the, the one that i want you to focus is the move chart so the move chart from here the location it's either you're going to have, uh, you have to put it here or in the summary worksheet. So the chart will be moved to the other worksheet, but that's not what I want. I want a new worksheet. And when I, we can uh, rename it. If, if you press okay, yeah, this is how it will look like, okay? So you can have your own. Okay, and again, the element still here, your own worksheet only for the chart, okay? Uh, so let me stop for a while. Uh, let me just remove the sharing. Okay, let me just stop for a while. I don't want, again, a long video. I'm going to continue again for another uh another video for the rest of this lesson. Bye.